Artist Series control surfaces from Euphonics revolutionize the way you connect and control your favorite audio and video applications. The MC Mix is a fully featured control surface that can be used standalone or connected to additional units to form a larger, integrated artist system for serious audio mixing applications. At the core of MC Mix's power is Yukon, a high speed, high resolution Ethernet control protocol that connects the MC Mix to any Mac OS X application and workstation. Yukon is 250 times faster and offers 8 times the resolution of MIDI. More importantly, Yukon is an intelligent protocol that automatically switches the MC Mix's controls and displays to match whatever application is in focus. Euphonics has worked closely with the world's leading software developers like Apple, Steinberg, Motu, and others to deeply integrate native Yukon support into their audio and video applications to provide high resolution, high speed control over almost all software functions. Yukon also supports the Huey and Mackie control protocols for even greater flexibility so you can easily control applications such as Pro Tools. This is the MC Mix. It's connected via Ethernet to a Mac Pro running Logic Pro, Final Cut Pro, and Apogee's Maestro. Let's take a look at what it can do. The MC Mix is a fully functional standalone control surface. It has eight touch sensitive motorized faders, eight touch and velocity sensitive rotary encoders. It has high resolution displays that give you track information, information about what parameters you're editing, and metering up to 5.1. At the bottom left and right hand corner of the surface are shift keys. These allow you to access any of the functions listed in blue. For example, if I hold shift and press augs, I can now assign channels to groups. To the left of the faders are knob set selector keys. These allow you to enter and edit parameters of functions offered by your DAW. There are two different ways to edit parameters, normal mode and channel mode. Right now I'm in normal mode with pan selected. That means that in the OLEDs, I see the pan parameter for each of these faders at the top. Channel mode allows you to see all of the parameters of a knob set for one selected channel in the OLEDs. For example, with channel 1 selected, if I enter the auxiliary knob set in normal mode, I can see the topmost bus on every channel. I can then page down by using the page keys to bus 2 and bus 3. If I press the channel key, I go into the selected channel, in this case the vocals, and can see all of the buses assigned to that track. I can then go in and turn them off or on, make them pre or post fader, adjust the level of the bus. I can also go into flip mode and use the faders to really dial in my effects mix. Channel mode also comes in handy when you're editing EQs. If I enter the EQ knob set for channel 1, the EQ comes up on the screen and all of the parameters of the EQ plugin spill out across the OLEDs. The first two knobs control the low frequencies, the next two control the low mids, and then the mids, and then the highs. We're currently looking at the lower bands of the EQ. You can sweep the frequency or press the select key to edit the Q. You can also choose to turn on or off each band of your EQ plugin. I can now reach in and edit the gain of an EQ, and with the velocity sensitive rotary encoder, I can get very, very finite editing values, or if I spin it fast, it adjusts accordingly. You can also flip all of these parameters down to the faders by holding shift and pressing the channel key. You'll notice the little arrows telling you that you're in flip mode. Editing plugins is just as easy as editing EQs or bus sends with your MC mix. Simply select a channel and press the inserts button. In normal mode you'll see one plug-in per channel. It'll be the topmost plug-in represented in your mixer. You can page through those with the page keys. Or you can press the channel button and see all of the plugins on your selected track. To open a plug-in, simply press the knob top and all of the parameters of the plug-in, in this case a compressor, will spill out across the OLEDs. So what if I want to put another plug-in on this channel? I'd simply back out of the plug-in that I'm in and then press the two page buttons at the same time to enter config mode. Once I'm in config mode, I choose which slot I want to put the plugin on, in this case insert 3, and press the knob top. Then I can see the different genres of plugins available for this slot. I'm going to choose EQ, and I'm going to put a legacy EQ, the silver EQ, in mono, on this channel. I'll exit config mode, and then I can enter that. 
by pressing the knob top. And now I've got all of the controls for that plugin directly here on the OLEDs. In Logic, it's really easy to get into and edit the parameters of your soft synths. Simply choose an instrument track, hold shift and press inserts to get into the input knob set, and then hit the knob top to enter your selected synth. I now have the parameters of the ES2 spilling across the OLEDs, which I can page to. And if I want to, grab the drive. You may be wondering how to access surround parameters with the MC Mix. It's very easy. Simply select your surround channel, go into channel mode with the pan knob set selected, and you'll see all of the surround parameters spilled out across the OLEDs. You can now go in and edit your surround angle, surround radius, how much you want to send to the LFE, the center, spread, X and Y axis, and you can flip those down to the faders. As you can see, the MC Mix makes it very easy to get into and edit EQ, plugins, instruments, and more. At the top right-hand corner of the surface, we have buttons that allow you to open and close the mixer, as well as nudge keys that will move you one track at a time through your project. You can go back to the beginning by holding the shift key and pressing bank back. Bank keys allow you to move eight tracks at a time. And just like with Nudge, if you get lost in your project, if you hold Shift and press Bank Back, you're back at the beginning. The MC Mix is application aware. You can use it to control your favorite media production applications. You can even switch applications directly from the surface by holding the application button and then using the Bank key to select your chosen app. Because it's application aware, you can use it to control Final Cut Pro, Logic, Cubase, and many more. Each time you bring a new application into focus, the surface updates to show parameters of that project. Here I'm switching between Logic and Final Cut Pro. We can record enable tracks directly from the surface with the MC Mix by pressing the record button. At the top of each fader are located solo and mute buttons. By holding the shift key and pressing solo and mute buttons to the right hand side of the surface, you can actually access transport controls. You can hit play, Stop, fast forward, rewind, next, previous, return to zero, and even record enable directly here. If you'd like these buttons dedicated to transport controls, you can press both shift keys at the same time. And now these are always your transport controls. To get back to solo and mute, simply press one of the shift keys. The Artist series makes it very easy to toggle through automation modes, even on the fly. Hold the shift key and press the record button on the selected track to toggle through read, write, and touch automation modes. As you can see, the MC Mix offers you the same high speed, high resolution connectivity and control as the Pros with a host of power features to speed up and enhance your creativity. From its ergonomic slimline design to deep native integration by the world's leading DAW developers, the MC Mix offers an unmatched level of connectivity and control to deliver a mixing experience like no other.